Hey guys, what's up? I am shooting this video because I posted a live video on Facebook and um, a lot of you wanted to know what was going on. So I had recently but not been feeling so great. I actually had um, some issues where I was not feeling like I was eliminating, where I was feeling really stagnant. And um, as most of you guys know who watch my videos, I'm really healthy. I eat healthy. Um, I you know, I went gluten free. I, I took out the sugars that I was eating, um, really slowed down drinking alcohol and, um, was trying to go as plant based as, as I could. But what happened was I went in, I got an ultrasound and they found a fibroid on the top of my uterus. And I also was diagnosed with fibrocystic breast tissue. This is something that does run in my family. My mother was also very prone to this. So I got a little bit nervous. And I went to the, uh, another gynecologist for a second opinion and he told me, yes, you know, the fibroid is here and you also do have fibrocystic breasts. But what you can do is you can um, go on the birth control pill and hopefully the birth control pill will help um, with your fibroids. And also, I forgot to mention, I also get was getting cystic acne. So it was weird because I was getting cystic acne, had a lower uh, belly bloat, um, felt like I wasn't eliminating properly and everything that I was eating was really irritating me and they said I had fibroids. So I was like, hmm, I think something is a little bit different, uh, something much deeper is going on. So I decided to go to a homeopath and I decided to ask him what, you know, what he thought. So he diagnosed me by looking into my eyes, by looking at my tongue, by doing an organ exam and also, um, through my symptoms and some kinesiology as well. So what he told me was is start on a protocol where we're starting to eliminate. But he sees a lot of women, especially in New York City, with the same condition. And he sees women that have, you know, these issues with fibroids and also from, you know, the foods that we're eating because we're not sure what's really in them, the gluten that's in everything, the lifestyle choices that we have and environmental stressors as well and pollution and being that we live energetically in this fast paced environment. What he had suggested was, he said, you know, I can see here that you do have these issues and a lot of women also have fibroids that are these types of women where you have a lot of toxins in your body and your skin is just another way that it's trying to eliminate because the skin is a very big detoxification organ. So when it can't find its way through your small intestines, through your colon, it's coming out through your sweat, it's coming out through your face because I've had hormonal acne now since I was 16. So he said, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you on a basic protocol and that's gonna be for two months where we're really going to detoxify and flush out the body. And we, I didn't even need to take any um, blood tests or anything as of yet or heavy metals. That would be the next step. Um, the one thing that we talked about that I really want everyone to know is that you know, the other doctors are trying to tell me to go on more hormones. Now, why would I go on more hormones when I'm already having a hormonal imbalance? So what I loved about Dr. Anthony uh, Zalurello, who I'm gonna tell you guys more about at the end of the video, where you can, you know, reach out to him, was that he said, why are they telling you to treat your hormones and add more hormones to the mix? What we need to do is cultivate your body like the garden that it is, get it balanced, flushing, get the lymphatic system moving so we can get rid of your toxins. You can become more alkaline and prevent disease. And if it is something more, you know, deeper than that, before you go to get surgery to get the fibroids removed, why don't we deal with it this way and then see? I said, right on. So this is what he suggested that I would take. I'm on a liver cleanse because that is one thing that we need to clean out is our liver. I also am taking chlorophyll every single day. I'm also taking minerals. This was something that I got from him, a great uh, minerals that I'm taking three times a day. I'm also taking a very high potency, um, twice a day probiotic. And then I'm taking the, um, these undas, I hope you can see it here. And this one's number 74. This is um, number eight. This is number 243. And I take four droplets of those every single day, um, twice a day. And then for the cystic acne, he gave me Act, uh, Actin, which I take seven capsules. 
uh, droplets a day. And then he gave me a protocol of some other homeopathy. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five different um, containers of these that I let dissolve underneath my tongue every, every day. Um, I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then I do a Tuesday, Thursday, and then I also do um, the first, third, and fourth Sunday. Right. This is just a natural detoxification, just trying to reset my body as natural as possible. So I shoot this video to share this with you guys that it is very common for women, especially in their mid thirties, to have fibroids and have some hormonal issues. So before you go taking any medicine that your doctors wanna give you, before you go you know, doing invasive surgery, I just ask that you do see uh, a naturopath or a doctor that studies homeopathy and see if there's a natural way that you can balance your hormones and cleanse and detoxify. And another thing is we can never be too, um, too detoxified. We can never detoxify enough because basically with all the environmental stressors and what's going on with our food and our food intake and agriculture, we are getting so many chemicals every single day. So his name again is Dr. Anthony Sal Larulo. He is on 150 East 55th um, Street in New York, the seventh floor, and his phone number is 212-475-2222. If you do have more questions, comment below and definitely subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more health and lifestyle tips.